back to another You, Me, Same 3. If this is your first time joining us, this is a collaboration between myself and my friend Michelle on Mickle That's the name of her channel. I'll have it linked below. It was her month to send me my three items. So these are the items that we have. We have a postcard, we have a negative image, and then um, a little word like... Um, I guess vocabulary card maybe is what it was. And I'm using my soul food journal. This is the journal that I taught everyone how to make in the soul food class. I'm going in here just quickly to tap into some of the energy on the page. And I'm going in with that color pencil. And now I'm going in with um, gesso. Anytime that I have a, like a spread like this where the pages, the background paper does not match, from one side to the other. Gesso is a very good way to be able to bring um, the two backgrounds together and make them more complementary without a ton of effort. And I'm just going to glue that little um, area there at the top down with a little of my spirit animal, also known as masking tape. And then I decided very quickly, even though I use this color all the time, when I went down with that um, Master's Touch pink, it just did not feel right for this page. So now I am just smushing that around and I'm going to cover it up with a piece of black and white um, striped tissue paper that I was gifted in a Happy Mail package. And so I had it close by on my desk and I'm just going to glue that down uh, very quickly to cover up that pink. It's weird sometimes how certain things will change and just for this page I just didn't feel that the pink was the right color for me. So I'm going in with that. That was a Lyra Graphite water soluble pencil and I'm just um, getting it wet and kind of grunging up the page because it's way too neat and too perfect for me at the moment. So I went in with that water. I'm going to dry it up really good. I have this. This is actually um, some paper that came out of a dye bath with Orly's class that I just attended. And now I have the postcard because as you see, I haven't slapped any of the three little paper bits that I need to do. So I've got to make some decisions and get busy here. So I decided on a whim that I was going to use this postcard and I was going to draw a face. And so um, I'm going in with Stabilo All. Just going in with the Stabilo All and, make, and working very loosely on the back of the pencil here. And I'm just making some quick lines to something that may at some point look like a face. I'm just kind of winging it, which is normal for me. And I'm going in with a water on the um, end of a paintbrush just to get that Stabilo moving. One of the things that I noticed um, with this is I did not feel that on this vintage postcard that the Stabilo all moved as dark as I've, um, or not really as dark, but the lines didn't move like I've seen them move on other substrates. So the key here is whenever you try a different substrate to use with Stabilo All or any medium for that for that matter, um, you're just going to have to experiment. Don't get attached to what you think the outcome can be. Um, you saw that I just took that kind of dry brush and just went over and just made some very messy marks. Um, I, I just like and I think things are more interesting whenever they are not clean and crisp and so I'm staying true to that and kind of um, using the Stabilo all and just creating some shadows and messes and streaks within this space. I think it tells more of a story whenever you um, have a little grungy than keeping it all pristine. So now I'm just drying off that postcard and I'm trying to decide what in the heck am I going to do with this negative. And I decided to pop the negative out and use just the square piece around her eye. 
if you haven't watched me do girls or seen my girls before, I oftentimes will create some type of focal of interest around the eyeball. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe subconsciously there's something going on there. I'm not really sure. I'm going in. This is like a very light pastel um, chalk paint. And I'm going in and I'm just wanting to mute the background um, some more. I felt like the map and the music sheets there were kind of um, not lending itself to the um, page and was standing out a little much. And an easy way to kind of mute that is to either take a light color acrylic paint or possibly um, some collage material. Excuse me, it's late at night while I'm doing this voiceover. Heavens to Betsy. Do people say that? I don't know. You know, I thought before I did this channel, and I have so many of you who um, encourage me and say such good things, I never knew that some of the stuff that I say is like stuff nobody's ever heard before. So I don't know if people say heavens to Betsy or not. My granny used to say that. And so um, she would say that, and Lord have mercy, child, Lord have mercy. She passed away from this earth when I was only five years old, but I have many, many memories, fond memories of silly stuff like that. That I guess I just always thought everybody said it, but maybe it's a southern thing. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all always do. And so I'm going in with this very, very old, like it is really falling apart. The paper is so old. And I'm taking the gel medium um, and going down like the fluid gel medium because it was just really disintegrating in a glue stick. It would have just been too hard. So any... Um, you have to kind of use the adhesive that works best for what you're trying to glue down and this poor paper, I don't even know how old it is, but maybe 1920s, maybe earlier than that. I'm not really sure to be honest. I don't see a date on there as I was doing it. And I'm going in with just some giblets here of masking tape. If the word giblet freaks you out, I apologize. I just call small little bits of pieces giblets. That's just me and what I say. And now I'm much happier now that that is muted down a little bit. And I will kill two birds with one stone by doing the postcard and the negative. So... That will be two of the three items. Don't forget, guys, make sure you go out and check over Michelle's channel and see what she did with the three items. Don't forget that that link will be linked down below so you can just click it and go on over and check out and see what she does. We always come out with like two totally different things. And so it's always interesting to see if you have um, the same materials, what you may do. I've kind of thought about possibly doing something where we do like little, um, you know, if we have multiples, like offering those up for other people to use. I don't know. We're going to have to keep thinking about that one. But I thought it would be interesting just to see all of the different um things that people come up with and then um i'm still have that third piece which is the uh, words that she sent me and the words say i say um on there and i had a pretty neutral palette to work with today when she first handed me these she handed them to me in person and <sighs> Um, I immediately had an idea, and then I totally went a different direction than the idea, and the inspiration took me a different way, and so I just listened. But I really love how this page is going and turning out. Um, I'm still piddling. Did y'all say that word too? Piddling? Piddling? Piddling around over here. My husband is laughing at me as I do this. Josh, you want to say hey? Everybody loves you. Say hey. Hello, how you doing? How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, 
Hey y'all, that's Josh asking y'all how you doing, how you baby. Doing? You realize they can't speak, right? Oh no. Okay, guys, it looks like it missed the crackle paste, so I did put crackle paste. Deco Arts Media crackle paste is the best crackle paste. I put the crackle paste on, let it start um, cracking on its own, and then I'm going in here with a graphite in my finger and I'm just grunging it up a little bit. I apologize that you didn't get to see it, but I've done it many times on videos. And the thicker you put the crackle paste on, the bigger the cracks are going to be. And so I just thought that it would kind of bring the page together a little bit more with the crackle paste and kind of blur out the background. So this young lady is the focal point. And I tore, I found the words, um, I say, and then I also found the words, no, no, no. Or maybe it was just no, no. I say no, no. And then I thought about doing like a shirt or something here. I kept seeing this image of a shirt or something. So this is where I kept pushing. I wanted to be, um, I don't know, I felt this need that this wasn't right. And then I kind of kept going back and forth. But I felt like it needed a little drama. So I actually am going to act like this is done. I'm showing you that I used the three pieces. I'm going to give you all my bow wave that I always do. I go outside and I start making um, pictures. And I just felt like something was wrong. Something was missing. So I'm going in here with a black gesso. And I felt like she needed something to kind of ground her to the page. And to kind of create um, a little bit more drama. I don't know any other way to say it. So I'm playing around here. And I'm using a very, very dry brush with um, this. Because I do not want to sacrifice all of the texture that I've created with the um, dark. I mean, not with the dark, but the crackle paste. And I don't want to cover up that black and white because I loved how that black and white little stripe of piece lended its way at the bottom. So I am just kind of playing around and creating a moody um, dress or top for her. And I love it a lot. I really like how she comes out. I hope that you enjoyed this process. If you take anything away from today's video, I hope it's not, don't play it safe because I could have played it safe and I could have just left her um, in the way she was instead of adding the depth, which I thought was necessary for the page. So keep pushing, guys. Try new things. I hope that you using. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I also um, wanted to say uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave me a comment. Um, and if you are subscribed, make sure you click the notification because the notification will, um, the bell up there will kind of let you know when I do have a new video. Don't forget, go check out Michelle's channel, see what she did with today's project, um, in three pieces. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!